When Jeremy came and spoke at our conference, uh, around about this time last year actually, um, we'd spent years trying to convince our members that we had to focus more on what we do and uh, the stock phrase was, we're not here to solve world peace. And then after a 40 minute talk from Jeremy, suddenly thousands of students were running up saying, we want to solve world peace. <laughs> Uh, and so we realised there was something special here from that point on. And the important bit for us is that we know that when, when we have people on our campuses as students, it's a time in their life where they're forming all sorts of different behaviours and habits that they'll take forward when they go on to be leaders in whatever sector that they choose to work in. If we can be part of a movement that instils the, the values and vision of peace, not just on a global scale, but right down to the local and domestic level, then that's something really special and something we want to be part of. And why is it particularly important that students get involved? Why that uh, constituency more than any other? This is actually um, the National Union of Students' 90th anniversary, and we were created in 1922 out of the ashes of the First World War. And there was a lot of people, a lot more visionary than I am, who said, look, if we can get the leaders of tomorrow together today and just get them to talk, then we'll avoid lots of conflict tomorrow. And so we're revisiting that heritage this year in particular. We're going to be organising a global student leaders summit where we bring leaders from across the world to London to talk about access to education, sustainability, but also crucially peace and what way Peace One Day can interact with us, try and institutionalise this, this ideal, this, this day of action. And for us, that's going to mean that students who we know will be leaders of tomorrow in all sorts of different ways are going to take forward that, that, that mission. And I think that's why students, more than anyone, ever has been involved in social movements. They're the ones we need to target. And what, what kind of message do you think that that will send out to other sectors of society for the rest of the world? Well, look, it's massive. And I, I, what's great about knowing to involve students as being something that will be effective is not just conjecture. We know it works. We've seen it work in all sorts of different ways and different issues, um, whether it be from environmental sustainability to conflicts in other parts of the globe. Students have always been at the forefront of challenging regimes that, that don't promote peace um, and, and saying there is a different future that, w that we want to inherit and we want to be part of that. Uh, and so for students in particular, we know that they will, they will bring about a change in a way that other parts of society simply can't ignore. You mentioned the Student Leaders Summit. How, how will you as NUS UK be reaching out to students both in the UK and elsewhere? So we have over 600 student unions across the UK and already people have been organising events locally. We have someone here today from Canterbury Christ Church who um, for the week last year when we talked about the, 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 the Armistice Day changed the curriculum. And through the lens of all different types of subjects, like talking about how students in their classrooms would contribute in the future to a more sustainable society. I, I think that is transformational. And I think that will happen across the UK as we approach September uh, 21st, 2012. In terms of global, we're working with the European Students' Union. We've now made friends from across the world who plan to come back and join us in the week leading up to the 21st of September. And we'll be discussing all sorts of issues, but on the 21st itself, it'll be those leaders, some of them so talented, that will be on the stage with Jeremy saying that we commit to, to this vision of the future. And do you think students in the UK and around the world are going to join in? Yes, yeah, so I can't imagine. We've already seen one of the, the representatives here from America talk to us about a spark and how quickly it lit imagination. And I can't imagine for a minute that that won't happen across the country. Our student unions are really interested and committed to pushing this to their local students. Um, because we always have done. You can't separate the issue of peace from the other issues that are bread and butter. The idea of accessing education and sustainability are core to the idea of a peaceful society. And so I can't imagine that we're going to see anything short of uh, a revolutionary in terms of numbers of people that will be involved come September this year. Jeremy mentioned earlier the idea of students leading the way and governments following. What do you feel about that? Well, it's true in two different ways. One. In all different contexts, we've seen students really push governments to change policies and act in different way, whether that be, from our perspective, education funding being one of the main issues that we work on, through to environment and sustainability, through to conflict. Students now force governments to change their practice. But again, some of these students are going to be the politicians of the future. And if we can get a seed planted in their head now about the values that Peace One Day is espousing, then that will grow into something really special in 5, 10, 20 years' time. Do you think we're going to 
going to see a world record on 21st September 2012, the largest reduction in global violence? Uh, I know we're going to see a world record on 21st of September 2012 for a reduction of global violence because uh, we already have the evidence. Like, there's a, when, I, when I've been talking about peace one day to some of our members, sometimes you get a casual cynic who'll say, peace for just one day, surely that's a massive cop-out. When I can turn around and say, well, when that happened last time, the Taliban decided to stop and lay down arms and allow inoculations for over 40,000 children in that region, I think that is evidence enough that one day can make a substantial difference. Of course, it'll go further, and that is about a symbol of what we want to see it like every day. But yeah, I think that we're going to see a record of massive proportions, and I, I hope and I'm sure it will get massive coverage. Finally, what will you be doing on the peace day, 21st September 2012? So uh, it's really exciting because I have no idea what I'll be doing because we have members across the country that will be organising events. And so we'll have officers out all over the place taking part in, whether it's part of the sports teams, uh, one, uh, what, what's it called again? One goal. One day, one goal. Whether it's about one day, one goal, whether it's about an educational take and what the curriculum looks like on the day, whether it's about everyone just wearing white and talking about peace one day. There's going to be so many events, I don't know where I'll be. Um, but I certainly know on the day itself that I'll be there with Jeremy and leaders from across the student movement globally to say that we are committed to not just making this a one-year fad, but something that is a long-term commitment.